hello everyone welcome to park mess in this video i'm going to find the value of a and b in this nice exponential cubic equation which is a cube minus b cube is equal to 61 so here a b are natural numbers now to solve this cubic equation properly and step by step first we will write solution and then we will write this cubic equation in the solution again and we will try to solve it step by step so the question is a cube minus b cube is equal to 61 so here first of all we will factorize this left hand side now this left hand side is the famous cubic equation identity a cube minus b cube so here in the left hand side we will use this cubic identity a cube minus b cube is equal to a minus b times a square plus a b plus b square so using this cubic identity in the left hand side of this equation this equation will become it will become a minus b times a square plus a b plus b square is equal to 61 now here we will factorize this 61 to the product of its prime factors so we can write this 61 as 1 times 61 or 61 times 1 now we cannot factorize it more because it is a prime number so here we will compare these two expressions with this product of two numbers so there are two possible cases to compare these expressions with the pair of numbers in the right hand side so the first case is case number one a minus b times a square plus a b plus b square will be equal to this product of prime numbers one times 61 and the second case is the product of these two expressions will be equal to the product of these two numbers 61 times 1 we have only two cases so we will solve these two equations for the value of a b but since as given in the question that a b are natural numbers so if a b are natural numbers if a b are natural numbers so there must a minus b will be less than a square plus a b plus b square so here according to this condition only this one equation is valid and true this one is not valid and true so here we will only solve this one equation for the values of a and b so here we will compare this product of two expression with the product of these two numbers so here we will compare this expression with this one number and this expression with this one number so from here we will get this implies a minus b is equal to 1 and a square plus a times b plus b square is equal to 61 now let us suppose this is equation number 1 and this is equation number 2 here we will change this equation to a so here we will shift this minus b to the right hand side so it will become a is equal to it will become 1 plus b now here we will substitute this value of a in this equation number second so equation number second implies a is equal to 1 plus b so it will become 1 plus b whole square plus the value of a is 1 plus b times b plus b square is equal to 61 now we will solve this one equation so 1 plus b square is the famous identity a plus b whole square so it will become 
वन स्क्वेयर प्लस टू टाइम्स वन टाइम्स बी विच इज टू बी प्लस बी स्क्वेयर प्लस बी टाइम वन इज बी प्लस बी टाइम्स बी इज बी स्क्वेयर प्लस बी स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी ओ वन नेक्स्ट बी स्क्वेयर बी स्क्वेयर एंड बी स्क्वेयर इट इज थ्री टाइम्स इट विल बिकम थ्री टाइम्स बी स्क्वेयर प्लस देर इज टू बी देर इज वन बी सो इट विल बिकम थ्री बी प्लस वन स्क्वेयर इज वन नो नेक्स्ट वी विल शिप दिस सिक्सटी वन टू द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड सो इट विल बिकम माइनस सिक्सटी वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो फर्दर दिस इक्वेशन विल बिकम थ्री बी स्क्वेयर प्लस थ्री बी वन माइनस सिक्सटी वन इज माइनस सिक्सटी इज इक्वल टू जीरो नो वी विल टेक थ्री कॉमन फ्रॉम द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड सो दिस विल बिकम टेकिंग थ्री कॉमन बी स्क्वेयर प्लस बी माइनस वी कैन राइट दिस सिक्सटी एज थ्री टाइम्स ट्वेंटी सो टेकिंग थ्री कॉमन ओनली ट्वेंटी विल बी लेफ्ट हेयर इज इक्वल टू जीरो Now we will divide both sides by three to eliminate this one three. So it will become b square plus b minus twenty is equal to zero. Now this is a quadratic equation. So we will solve this quadratic equation by factorization method. So here we need such a two numbers whose product is minus twenty and whose sum is plus one. So these two numbers are five and minus four because five times minus four is minus twenty, and their sum is plus one. So here we will replace this b with b square plus. It will become five b minus four b minus twenty is equal to zero. Now from here, from these two terms, we will take b common. So b plus five will be left here. And from these two terms, we will take minus four common because twenty can be written as four times five. So taking minus four common here, b is left, and here plus five is left, is equal to zero. Now we will take b plus five common from these two terms, so it will become b plus five here, b is left, and here minus four is left. Is equal to zero. Here the product of these two expression is zero. So here either this expression will be zero or this one will be zero. So from here we will get b plus five will will be zero or b minus four will be zero. So here we will shift this plus five to the right hand side, so it will become minus five. And here we will shift this minus four to the right hand side, so it will become plus four. But as given in the question that a, b are natural numbers, so minus five cannot be a natural number. So here we will reject this value of b because it is not a natural number. We will take only this one value of b, which is a natural number. Now here we will substitute this value of b, which is four, in this one equation, and from here we will find the value of a. So This one equation is a is equal to one plus b. Now the value of b is four, so here the value of a will become one plus four, which is five. So a is equal to five. So one of the possible solution of the above exponential cubic equation is a b is equal to the value of a is. Five, and the value of b is four. So this is our one of the possible solution of the above cubic equation. Now we we'll check that this solution is the correct and exact solution of the above equation or not. So we will verify it here. So let's verify it. Now to verify it, we will rewrite the cubic equation here. A cube minus B cube is equal to sixty one. So the equation is A cube minus B cube is equal to 
61. Now here we will replace a and b with its values 5 and 4. So it will become 5 cube minus 4 cube is equal to 61. Now 5 cube is 125 minus 4 cube is 64 is equal to 61. Now 5 minus 4 is 1 and 12 minus 6 is 6. So 61 is equal to 61. Now since both sides are equal, so it means that a is equal to 5 and b is equal to 4 are the exact and correct values of this cubic equation. If you like this video, so don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.